last night because of what you hear, that cursed wind. It's blowing our canola across the field. So the guys got going early in the harvest field this morning and we're getting everything we can. Everything that's ready and the rest. So I've been delegated to uh, the evening shift just to help keep these combines going which allows me to work in my hives to get my feeding done which is extremely important. So the only, th only thing we can do, the only thing I can do is just kind of shelter ourselves in the bee yard and just carry on the work. Just keep getting things done. So I called Carrie out this morning to help me with feeding. I'm looking down into the colonies now and that optimistic feeling within the nest is switched, is turned just like on a dime. Uh, they have established that winter nest and now the queen as she's laying the eggs they're not taking those eggs further into development it's like the axe has dropped the brood is emerging and there's all this open space within the colony within the nest so that is our cue to get busy and to get winter stores into these colonies aka backfill so that's what we're doing here as I can carry on doing my uh, call out round, you can see a few empty spots here. And I call out all the colonies before I start the bulk round because I don't want to pour any, you know, energy or any money or investment into colonies that have failed. You call them out now. This is the time you do it. So we're just about through uh, doing these last nuke yards. Will be the last of the call out round within the apiary, and then we sock it to them. We give them as much as they can consume. No more of this maintenance. Now it's time for winter feeding. So, uh, you know, I'm going through and we haven't taken our excluders off these sixes yet, so I have to do that before we bulk feed, so that's taking a little more time. So I'm going to show you what I'm seeing. It's quite encouraging. These sixes have uh, established themselves extremely well. I knock off the tops, and it's not hard to tell that these colonies are viable. I don't even I don't have to dig down into them to see that this is very well defined clusters right across the board you know I can even get fussy enough these girls are looking so nice that this one maybe is a little bit smaller as you can see they haven't quite finished that patty I'm gonna put them into winter because they'll make it through all the same but I can, it makes it my job a little easier because you know I've smoked these ones down already so one, two, and this one shows a little bit less, kind of almost like a blank spot, right? Where you have bees covering the tops, and then all of a sudden one that doesn't cover the top because there's just not as much going on inside. So that throws a flag. I'll probably dig down into this one. I've noticed they've eaten their patty up, so there's probably some something going on, but it just gives me a cue to take a peek to see what's going on, give them an assessment, and if I don't see any type of brood, you know, call them out. Oh, the only thing we can do, listening to weather like this, is just to keep busy, just to keep working, try to distract your mind. We work all year to grow these tremendous crops, and just like that, one day, one hour and one day, it just gets stripped from you. So hopefully our fields are able to hold themselves down. Hopefully we don't experience too much loss. It's nothing I'm not used to. I mean, I'm a beekeeper. I experience loss every single day. That is hard on the nerves. At any rate, I signed up for this business. So one good thing is these hives are looking terrific.
terrible wind, it blew our entire crop of canola right across the field. It's unbelievable. It's making our job a lot more difficult to pick up. So we have three combines, and we have two of them in on one of the ones of one of the combines is in, and we're just picking up the easiest part of the swath just so it doesn't get bound up on the edges. As soon as it gets bound up on the edges of the pickup, then it just thrashes it and then becomes a loss. So we're trying to weave our way through, picking the easiest, and then we have the third combine following behind, just picking up the scraps. So that seems to be working. It's adding a lot of time, but at least we're getting it. I don't know if you can see across the row here because of the dust, but this entire row has been blown off next two rows. Just ridiculous. Look, it's, it's blowing absolutely clean. It's like the combine in there. This row I'm on here, it's, uh, it's good. I don't know why the wind picked on that one. The wind, as it swirls, it's a funny beast. So it's working anyways. We're going to take a bit of loss because of wind damage and just the difficulty we're having picking up the swath. But it's not too often we see 90k winds right when the canola is at its worst, most vulnerable state. Just as, it's not like we just cut it where it's wet and weighted down. It's just when it's just about ready to combine. We're like one day away from combining it and it blows across the field. getting it done. This half section is pretty bad. We have another half section. Um, it's probably too tough to combine yet. It, I'm hoping it held itself down a little bit better. The only problem is it's on the escarpment. And the escarpment's kind of like an airfoil as it goes down to the flats, which just turns things really easy. The guys were able to get the other half section done we worked on it last night and then early in the morning got that polished off before the wind hit it. This business, I mean, you can't count until it's in the bin. It's just absolutely ridiculous. You grow this beautiful bumper crop all year long. You have to put your life savings into it. And then the wind goes and just throws it away with 90 click, 90 click wind. I mean, the wind was so strong today that we're out feeding bees, Carrie and I. I'm taking the pails off the hives. The, the bees did a nice job gluing those pails down, so they weren't being blown all over the place. But when you take the pail off, there's bees underneath the pail, and it blew them across the bee yard. And the little buggers, they couldn't get up and fly because the wind was so strong. Now it's calming down a little bit. They'll, they'll find their way back into the nest. But gee whiz, those are in sheltered yards. So sometimes Mother Nature can bite me. I think she just throws us curveballs like this to toy with us. I mean, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Got a lot to do, don't worry about it.